Amen, Amen. The Aishans, the incense, the holy incense, the holy Aishans. You, have you heard, have you not read where it says, let our prayers go up as the evening it on as the evening incense before you. O oh, Jah, O oh, Yah, O oh, Father. Now we're going to touch on Psalm 69. Because we, we spent uh, a, a moment teaching about this particular judgment day that Yom Teruah or the Rosh Hashanah, the Ras Hasana, initiates. And there are the ten days of deliberation or the ten days of awe, which are known as the Yamim Norayim. And we think that we have at least sufficiently given a good groundation to that for those who may be unfamiliar with the interrelation and connectivity of that very important aspect, both from the old covenant and in the new, as fulfilled and spoken of in Revelation. So when you read Revelation, it has these statements like uh, tribulation for ten days. And these things are cryptic, especially to one who is unfamiliar with the root and with the foundation, and with the scripture. As Christ says, you do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. Moses did not err in that respect. He did not err. He understood the mishtir, the mystery. He preserved it, and he brought it out of Egypt. Yet Egypt is important for a reflection you understand? Egypt is very important in that sense. This is why Acts of the Apostles 7 and 22 makes the reference that it makes. Not in the way that some black supremacists or some Kometians or um, uh, <laughs> some of our Egyptology brothers and sisters who are like almost, in a sense, they, they are so pro Egyptology, like the so-called um, white man or the Nazis are pro-white supremacy. Both of those extremes, unfortunately, are erroneous and are in error. So, um, being as it may let us now go to Psalm 69. And we need to give a little background to this. As we mentioned before, and we'll touch on this a little bit more, this is the Amharic Psalms of David and the English KJV, recently published by the Society of His Imperial Majesty, the Lion of Judah Society. And this is a very important book, you understand, to have and to acquire. So the notes in here... Um, and the research that we have done and the compilation that we've put, put, this is a parallel Bible. That means it has the Amharic, as you can see, the Amharic on one side, the English on the next side, and it has certain valuable footnotes that are very necessary for us as Hebrew and Beta Rastafari Israel in this particular time and what a feat and moving forward. So, this particular issue is a, a special jubilee printing, a special jubilee printing. And as, as we know, and hopefully you know as well, Rosh Hashanah and the Yom Teruah is also connected with the Yovel. In the Hebraist, the Hebrew, they say Yovel or Yovel. We say Iyobelu, which is the jubilee. And we're in a jubilee year of the first printing and publishing of the Metzhaf Kedus, or the Book of the Seven Seals of Ketamawi Haile Selassie from 1961, the Book of the Seven Seals. And on the back side of the book right there, if you count it, you will see the seven seals that say Metzhaf 
Kedusi. And there are seven types of scriptures in this book. There are four in the Belui Kidan or the Old Testament, and there are three in the Hadith Kidan or the Berit Chadasha. Now, this being said, you can go to our website at www.lojsociety.org and you can either order a copy and see some of the other new printings and books that we have available. And we must invest in our education. Right now, the printing course for such a book, as you can see, the thickness and the volume of the book is quite a thick and a voluminous book. But it's important, and it's important for us to invest in our education and to invest in the education of the future of our people, especially those who are of the Kal Kidan and of the Holy Covenant, to build our house on firm ground and not sinking sand. Now, the reason why we mention that is because this psalm, Psalm 69, which the subscription says to the chief musician upon Shoshanim, a psalm of David, a psalm of DVD. Now, Shoshanim, um, should we keep this up here? Do we understand this? I think we, we, we do understand this, but Shoshanim, we'll turn to Psalm 69 and you'll see Shoshanim. We'll go into a Shoshanim teaching. Basically, Shoshanim means lily. It means lily. And if you um, have the Schofield Study Bible, if you don't, you can go to our website. There's a free download. It's free. Um, and you can use it on your mobile devices or any one of your devices, you know, all this technology where you can read books, so forth and so on. You can actually download it and for free. It's the Schofield Study Bible. Basically this right here, it has some excellent footnotes, especially for newcomers, Adis Metoch or Metoch for beginners. And it gives a good foundation, and it's an excellent study Bible. Now, here it says C next to Shoshanim. And then the C, it takes us to Psalm 45 and the title. So when we turn a couple of pages to Psalm 45, there's a footnote right here. And this footnote says, Shoshanim lilies, and so the spring. The Shoshanim Psalms were probably connected with the Passover season because they are interpreting Shoshanim just to mean, quote, lilies. But there's more to that interpretation. As we said, in this particular book, we touch on the subscriptions and because there are special names in the subscription. And oftentimes, if you notice some of the newer Bibles in the Psalms, they take out the subscription. They take it out. And that is not good. It is not good to take that out because it's the subscription that really provides the key, the, 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 the key that we need to open up the psalm. In fact, the, the subscription, when it is to a particular psalm, is the key to the psalm. So in Psalm 45, it says the chief musician upon Shoshanim, and here in the footnote they say lilies, but the Shoshanim were the... Yabura, Yabura, Melikat, uh, Melikatoch were the silver, the long silver trumpets. You might have seen some some archival footage of Ethiopia because I don't think that they are still doing it in this present, um, in this present apost, uh, careless generation, apostate generation. A lot of things have been lost in this time of Askoratawi. However, in some of the more archival footages of Ethiopia, especially some of the first black and white footages, they will show during the time of New Year's and Holy Days, you will see the Ethiopian Hebrews with these long, with these long trumpets. And if you look at the trumpet, the trumpet has the shape of the lily. This is what the Shoshanim actually refers to. So it's not just speaking of springtime, 
though it's also connected with springtime, but it's speaking of a reminder of redemption out of bondage out of bondage and now the people are in a spiritual Egypt just as our ancestors were in a physical Egypt as well as spiritual we are now in a spiritual Egypt and in Revelation it speaks to this so the Shoshanim refers to the trumpets and it refers to a reminder or reminders of redemption out of bondage and of the origins of Israel and the origins of the Beta Israel. I have called my son out of Egypt. The the the, the birthing. In other words, the son Israel in a sense was born out of Egypt. This is why Yahweh Eloheinu Baruchu says, I have called my son. The collective, you understand, the collective, it's like all of Israel, all of us is a corporate body. We are like a spiritual corporation. We are like all as one man. And it's interesting because a lot of corporations are considered a person. I'm sure you probably are familiar with that. A lot of the corporations have the same rights.